Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope you all are having an awesome day. So if you haven't noticed by the title of the video, today I am going to review for you guys the Teamy Green Tea Facial Scrub. Now, I do wanna let you guys know that this video is not sponsored. They are not paying me to review this, but they did reach out to me and were kind enough to send me this product, which I thought was really nice because I am a very small YouTuber. I have under 600 subscribers, so I thought it was really nice for them to send this to me to try out. But please always remember, I would never lead you guys astray, so my opinions are always 100% honest, and I will tell you what I do like and what I don't like about the product. Now, to start off a little bit to tell you about the product, like I said, it is a green tea facial scrub, and it's supposed to hydrate, exfoliate, and moisturize the skin. Also, guys, just so you know, I have some notes here, so I don't forget anything that I wanted to mention because I have used this product and I have been trying it out. So I want to make sure I cover all bases. It is cruelty free, 75% organic, and it has all natural ingredients. Now, if you follow me, here you are, Jackie Naturals. I do try to lean more towards natural products. So I was really happy when I saw that this was all natural ingredients. And the three main ingredients in it is matcha green tea, lemongrass, and sugar. And guys, it's made here in the US, actually in Seminole, Florida, where I live sunny south florida so that's super cool um but i want to tell you guys a little bit more about how i use the product and my thoughts but i did want to give you guys like a little backstory because i have been having some issues with my skin lately i've been getting a lot of blackheads and whiteheads um and i do have oily sensitive acne prone skin so lately i have been wearing like a full face of makeup so i have to make sure that i get my makeup off so what I've been doing and what I wanted to incorporate was a scrub. And I actually did receive this Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. And I received this, I think it was in a BoxyCharm and maybe it was the Ipsy Plus. I can't remember specifically, but I received this. It's almost done. I bet I'm trying to squeeze stuff out of it. But this is a two ounce container for $58. I already know there's no sense in me repurchasing this because I cannot continue to repurchase it. Did it last a decent amount of time? It did, but for $58, I'm on a quest to find something cheaper. I think I can. You guys know me. I like to, you know, I don't mind spending a little more on skincare, but if I can find something cheaper, I will. And I just feel like $58 for two ounces is excessive. Um, now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, on and this goes to tell you guys how I have been looking, on January 31st, I actually ordered um, from Target. Target.com. It's the Bure Free Your Pores Pore Unclogging Scrub. And it's supposed to be salicylic acid acne treatment slash oil free. And it's supposed to clean your pores and smooth your skin. Now, I was a little disappointed in this product. I didn't see much difference. Now, this is $5.99 for a five ounce, so I wasn't expecting much. But I have used their charcoal cleanser and I, I kind of ordered the wrong thing, but I didn't want the cleanser. I wanted an actual scrub because I'll show you guys in a little bit what cleanser I actually use. But this is not like, this was just disappointing. I'm sorry. It was. So this did not work for me. I'll use this as a backup. It didn't really do anything at all. Um, so they say that you can remove your makeup with this. No. Like I told you guys, I'm oily. I'm acne prone. I like to quadruple, triple or quadruple cleanse, to be honest with you. I know it's a little excessive, but I do. I like to make sure I remove all my makeup because my face is very sensitive and it will definitely break out. And I wear a full face of makeup now every single day, like six to seven days a week. So the way that I use incorporate this product is and how I wash my face. So this is kind of like my nightly routine to kind of give you an idea, idea of how I treat my skin and take care of my skin and do my nightly routine. I use a makeup melter and the one that I currently use is Bliss Makeup Melter. It's a dry, wet, gentle jelly cleanser with rose flower. So I'll put it on the side so you can see it. I believe I ordered this from Ulta and it was a good price. I, if you guys haven't watched my um, skincare empties, I had another one that I really liked that actually got me into melters and I felt like it really got rid of all the makeup and didn't leave my skin dry so I started using it. And this was a really decent price, I can't remember but I'll look it up and I'll put it down below for you guys. So I really did like the, the melters so I got this one and this one isn't bad. Um, and the price was reasonable, like I said. So I do like this. So I start off with this. This is the first thing that I do once I'm ready to take out my, well, first thing is I put my hair up in a bun. Of course, you gotta get the hair out of the face. <laughs> it's 
start getting ready to transform. But I use this first as a makeup melter and I just put it in my hands and then I just rub it all around my face and my eyes and everything. Um, typically, I don't do my eyebrows. I do my eyebrows every other day. So it just depends what day it is and then I'll put some eyebrows too. Next, because I kind of find that to be a little greasy even though they say it's supposed to not be, I like to use a makeup wipe to remove it. And my favorite makeup wipes are the Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Makeup Removing Wipes. These are super moisturizing. These are the best ones I've found that's super moisturizing. They are a little bit on the pricier side. I believe one of these are like $8.99 or $9.99. Um, but they're really good. I love them. It comes in a 25 count. Um, but I really do love these things. So I'll wipe it off with this. Honestly, though, because I've already used this product on my face, I don't necessarily need to use an expensive one. Anyone will do that has some kind of product on it just to remove the oils and the grease from the makeup melter kind of. So that's why I do that instead of trying to go in and wash my face. So once I use this, then I go in with my facial cleanser and it's a CeraVe fa foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin. It cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective bar skin barrier. Um, and this has three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. So I really love this product and it's for oil control, so it's perfect for me. I love this, I'll wash my face with this after. Now, once I'm finally done with all that, this, that is when I go in with this product here by Timmy. Now, just to give you guys an idea, I've used, you can see it, yeah, you can see it. So this is how much product I've used. And not only did I use it, guys, my husband used it, okay? So I've been using this for, tonight will be the 10th night. My husband's used it about three times. So I'm gonna tell you both of our thoughts on this. So you're gonna get it from an oily girl and a dry guy. <laughs> no pun intended, but yes. So you're gonna hear from both sides of ours. He won't come on, he's camera shy, but I'll let you guys know what he thought. I did make notes when he first used it. So, but I use this. Now, it does smell like green tea, but it has a, a citrus smell. It's not like strong or overpowering, but you can definitely smell the citrus. So if you don't like citrus scents, you probably won't like it. And then I later realized that it was a lemongrass. So it does have a citrusy smell, but I like it. It smells clean, it smells fresh. So I do like that about it. Now, the way that I, you're supposed to use this, and let me tell you what the instructions say. Hold on, where is it? It says, dampen face slightly with water. With fingertips, use a small dollop, that's really important, in a circular fashion on the face and or body to, for gentle exfoliation. Simply wash off with water and pat dry. Use two to four times weekly as needed. Best applied morning and at night. Now, just so you guys know, I don't use this morning and night. I feel like in the morning, I don't need to scrub my face. I think that's just a little bit too much. I don't believe in over exfoliating, but I have been using this every single night. So I think that's more than enough. I don't feel like I need to use it twice. And if I was to use it twice a day, I would use it um, probably two to four times a week, like they said, but I prefer to use it at night when I want to get off my makeup, get my face super clean. So I don't have anything clogging up my pores to make me break out. So that's what I do. Now, one thing I did like about this, guys, and if you see me looking down, don't forget I have my notes here, but one thing I like, you do take a small dollop. When I first started using this, I was a little bit heavy-handed, as you guys know, just like I am with my hair products and everything else, I'm very heavy-handed. So I would take a lot, but you don't need a lot. Like I said, this was nine nights of use for me. So one time a day, nine nights, or so nine uses. My husband used it three times, so that's 12 uses total. And we kind of barely put a dent in it, like it's still almost like, it's like here. So we've barely done anything. But what you do is you dampen your face like they told you to. And I have my water jug here. I am a water drinker, guys. If you didn't know that about me, I drink two of these a day, which is a half a gallon. So I drink, I try to drink a gallon of water a day, if not more. Um, but I do try to get my water in. It's good for the skin too. So get your water intake, guys. <laughs> um, but what you do is they say you're gonna soak the skin. I'm gonna do a little demonstration. So this might get messy, I got napkins. But I wanted to show you guys, because I'm about to go out, I don't have time to wash my face and show you guys, I'm sorry. But if you want me to do another quick video, I can always do that, showing you guys me using it, let me know. But I'm gonna just wet my hands, because I wanna just show you. Because remember it said dampen the skin. So I wet my hands, and I'm gonna take a small dollop. 
So I took like that much. There's my nail, it's on my nail, that little bit, right? Small dollop, I think that's a small dollop, right? And then what you do is you actually just rub it in circular motions into the skin. And I wanna show you guys, because what this actually does is starts off as a, as a scrub, and it actually, once you let the water hit it, it turns into little, I'm sorry, my hand's dried already, but once you let the water hit it, it ends up getting like foamy. And look at that. So you can see like the foaminess of it. And that's actually on your face and the sugar crystals kind of dissolves in your skin. So it's super cool. So I see why they say you could use this to remove your makeup, but I just choose not to, but these are my hands. So I'm gonna wipe it off. But I did just wanna show you guys that there are some, still some sugar crystals, but I find that once I blend it into my skin, it comes right out. But it comes, it gets like soapy and I thought that was super cool. For a scrub because I've never seen a scrub do that and get foamy maybe it's me um, but I've never seen a scrub do that so I thought that that was super cool um, so I just wanted to show you guys that since I can't show you me actually using it but this this will last a long time um, uh, also what I noticed guys this is not abrasive at all yes it has the sugar in it I am gentle because again I don't want to be abrasive and break the skin and mess up my skin or anything like that so I am not rough with it. I put it gently and I just did it in a circular motion and it foamed up and it cleaned off my skin and it felt so good. Wasn't greasy, didn't leave any residue. It made my skin feel super smooth and squeaky clean. Now, <laughs> I had a little something to say about that though. The first time that I used it was the first day that I got it and I posted it on my Instagram so you guys saw, I think it was, it was February 12th, yeah. And today's the 22nd. So, what I did is I used it right away. I went, I washed my face like I would normally do, and I finished up with this. I decided to stop there because I wanted to see how it would be on my skin and what would happen without adding anything. Now, we all know you don't normally scrub your face, exfoliate, do all this stuff, and then you're supposed to add your nighttime skincare. But I didn't, I just wanted to see what was gonna happen. And let's just say for me, it was not pleasant. I found my face to be really tight. It felt tight. It felt tingly, and I don't know if that's the green tea in it or the lemongrass, I have no idea, but it felt a little tight, which it wasn't, the tightness wasn't bad because I feel like that kind of like, because it's supposed to like remove pores and blackheads and all that, so I feel like it probably should tighten up your face, but it was a little uncomfortable for me, but I'm an oily girl, so I don't normally have that feeling, so it might just have been me, but I wasn't a big fan of that feeling. But again, we wouldn't just go and exfoliate and wash our face and not put anything on. And if you do do that, you shouldn't. You should follow up with some kind of moisturizer or something. Um, but I didn't the first time. And I didn't for like a few hours to try it out. And like I said, it was uncomfortable for me. Um, my husband had a different experience and I'll tell you his shortly. I just wanna tell you mine and how I use it. So now, once I finish this guys, I just kinda wanna run through the rest of my nighttime skincare. What I've currently been using while I have, and I received this, I think it was in a play by Sephora. It's this A plus, it's Sunday Riley, it's a high dose retinoid serum. And what I do with this one, because I don't really think I feel like I need retinoids all over my face, um, and that's a little strong, but I do use it on my forehead because if you guys can tell, I do have wrinkles, a little bit of lines on my forehead that's coming. I never had that. Oh gosh, guys, I'm getting old. But I do have a few there. And then I feel like my smile lines, and yes, now I'm pointing it out to you guys, so you're gonna notice it. But um, This is skincare video, so that's what we're doing. Um, but my smile lines, I feel like that kind of has me a little insecure too. So I put it there, because it's supposed to help with that. Tighten up the skin, you know, that's what it's supposed to do. So I put it in those two places. So I'll just rub it in there and then I rub it on my smile lines that's it everything else really isn't a private problem area or I feel like I need retinoids on my face because it's supposed to get rid of lines and wrinkles and that type of thing so I use that first then I normally follow up with the vitamin C serum because I received this in one of my boxes and I think I got this in an ipsy because if you haven't noticed a pattern I received some really great products and I do use them so you guys are seeing here I do use them um, am I gonna repurchase some of these like the Sunday Riley product no that's gonna be too expensive, no. And I haven't seen enough difference. I'm just using it because I have it and I might as well Sunday Riley too, so maybe it will, but I'm using it. 
Um, but anyway, sorry, I'm getting back to this, um, the vitamin C serum, the 111 or three skin, whatever they call it, vitamin C brightening booster is what I use. It's a vitamin C serum. I got it in one of my subscription boxes. I think this was Ipsy too. Yeah, I think I got this in Ipsy too. So Ipsy's been coming through lately and I have been wanting to incorporate vitamin C because like I said, I am acne prone. I eat chocolate, I'll break out. I don't wash my face properly, I'll break out. I start using something a little funky, I'll break out. Like it's, I have to be very weary with my skin. I can't add too many new products at once. I have to add them in slowly. So I do get marks whenever I get a pimple, but it's me. I find that I tend to want to pop them or you know, get rid of them because they look so bad. My pimples get really ugly. They get big and ugly. So I mean, I want to pop them. But um, that's unfortunately my issue. But I'm working on it. But I use a vitamin C to try to get rid of those dark marks and the dark scars because it's supposed to be good for that. After that, I received another great product. And I think this was, oh gosh, what was this? Was this in the Allure Beauty box? I can't remember, guys. Don't quote me. I think it was. And it's the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Vitamin C Plus Turmeric Face Oil. And I have been using this as an oil and I've kind of been rotating because I'll either use this one, which I have been loving. I've been using almost every night and you see, I barely touch the surface. I'm oily. I'm not going to throw a bunch of oil on my skin. So this will last me a really long time. So I was so happy I got this. This is really nice. Um, and my skin just wakes up in the morning. It feels really super plump and nice and moist. It looks really nice. So I do like this. I don't know. Depending upon how much it is, I might actually get this because it will last me freaking forever. It'll probably go bad before I finish it because you literally need like a little drop, especially for me, who's an oily girl. So I use this or, or I'll use this. This is the Algenis Genius Sleeping Collagen. And I actually received this in the Influencer Vox box and I'm still using it, guys. I barely touch the surface on this too. If you could see, like there's a, a little dent in the middle, but that's it. And this thing is really nice. And this was like $98, but it's lasting me a long time. So I really like these, this, and sometimes I'll do both. If I feel like my skin is acting a little funny, I'll use both because they're both really nice high-end products and my face has taken kindly to them, so I may use both. So I do like these two products. Guys, I did not realize until later on that night that I forgot to mention one of the most important things in my skincare routine, and that is eye cream. I am getting older. I wish I would have started at a younger age, but these are currently the four that I am rotating through. And once I'm done, I have other ones in my supply that I can't wait to use. So I do wanna make sure I included this for you guys because eye cream is super important. Now, if I have a pimple, guys, my facialist told me this, and it has made a world of difference. She told me Neosporin for pimples. And you know how we normally hear about using like the, um, the hyaluronic acid and the salicy sorry, the salicylic acid and putting it on it. For me, my skin is so sensitive, it'll burn it. And it has done that to me several times. And like, I like the Mario Badescu, the drying lotion, but it always leaves a mark and a bad looking mark on my face. And I don't know if it's that, it's just my skin. That's just how it is. And she told me that your skin just bruises. That's just what it does. You have to be very careful. So she's like, use Neosporin on your pimples. And I have started doing that. And when I'm patient enough, keywords patient enough, I do it, my pimples will go away. And I have, if any, a very little mark. It's not super dark like it normally is. It's just a very little light dark, like mark. Now, if I go and I get creative and I want to put it on there, the Mario Badescu, because so I'm going to dry it a little faster, I might do it one day and I might get away with it and throw Neosporin on it after. And I can kind of finagle a little bit. But salicylic acid, I can't use. It burns my skin. So Neosporin is a definite, guys. Try that and see what happens, especially if you're like me and you have sensitive skin and it always bruises when you have pimples and stuff. Try that, Neosporin, okay? But anyway, guys, so... Let's get back to this product. That's kind of like my nighttime routine So I wanted to kind of throw this in this video so you guys can see how I kind of do my skincare Because I have been wanting to do that video. So when that this came in the mail, it kind of made it like okay now I can finally do this Okay, so when I first got it, I literally unboxed it. I was super excited. Of course, you know, who doesn't like free stuff? Come on, let's be honest um, So I had my husband smell it. I'm looking at my notes because I really wrote down what he said Guys, within like five minutes, and he had knee surgery, so he's on crutches and stuff, but within literally like five minutes, he ran to the bathroom to go wash his face. 
okay he had had his surgery a few days ago so of course you know he hasn't had he didn't have a lot of time to like stand up and stand around so he really wanted to wash his face when I got this and he's like me he's trying to use all natural we're trying to get a little healthier and stuff like that so he ran to the bathroom to wash his face now he said it smelled really good now he used two medium to large <laughs> dollops scoops okay because he decided to not only do his face he did his neck and he has like facial hair you know he's a guy he has facial hair and he of course wasn't shaving because he just had knee surgery so he was took a lot because he said it needed to get through his facial hair so he did take quite a bit way more than i did but he said and i'm gonna read what he said because i wrote it guys he said it felt good and his face felt super clean and he definitely said he saw a difference in his face. He said he felt a warming sensation and it was not uncomfortable, but it was refreshing. So he felt very refreshed. It may also have something to do with him not being able to really shower properly. I mean, so. a few days he had knee surgery and so he was dealing with that. But he said, I also had him touch my face just so you guys know. And he was like, wow, your face is super smooth. But I like to think my face was smooth anyway, but it did really make my skin feel smooth. I will say that for sure. Um, but he has since used it like another two times. He has some like texture because like I said, he has dry skin. So he had like some texture, something going on. It was like a little scabby thing on his nose. And he did the, the exfoliator. And he's rough. You know you're not supposed to do that because you can like cause micro abrasions in your skin really rough. He, he goes hard, okay? So he was going a little rough. And he said it actually got rid of that scabby thing on his nose. He didn't feel it. It didn't hurt him. Nothing. And he had a very little scar from it very very little like little mark once it was gone and stuff and he thinks that this product had something to do with it um and he didn't ever realize that it got rid of that scab and stuff until he looked in the mirror so that goes to tell you he was really he was really impressed with this okay guys um so now let me tell you guys a little bit about the price this is a four ounce container and it's 24.99 would i have preferred it being six ounces you guys know me i'm frugal i like you know i'll spend a little more on skincare but if i get more bang for my buck i want to so it would have been nice if it was like six ounces i would have been perfectly happy but compared to like these you got the really low this is the middle and then you got the really high this is a really nice product i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna take that away i like dr brand it's a really nice product but it's really expensive. Not everybody can afford this. And you know, I spend a little bit more and I still don't want to buy this. It just hurts my feelings to spend $58 on a product. It has to do wonders. And this doesn't do wonders. It just feels really good. And it doesn't irritate my skin either. Um, this one kind of like it did nothing. So this one was a kind of a happy medium. And guys, I have a coupon code. J natural. You can do it in all caps, lowercase. It doesn't really matter. You get 15% off. So it brings it down to like $21 and change. Unfortunately though, and you guys, if you know me, I don't like paying tax. I mean shipping. I don't like paying shipping, but they do charge shipping. <laughs> so it brings the price right back up to, and I actually went like I was adding it to my cart because, um, well, I'll tell you if I'm going to be buying it or not, but I did act like I was buying it to see what specifically is going to cost you guys if you did decide to buy it. It will be $24.24. For one with shipping tax everything grand total now i do have a code for 25 percent off my problem with that is like i said i added it to my cart because sometimes i find that you go in and you do it and then you realize wait wait that's not what happened so it's 24.99 you get 25 percent off it brings it to 18 dollars and 74 cents oh sounds great i went to check out i even went and added my credit card to see what was going to happen told me that there's a 30 dollars minimum purchase so <laughs> That led me, it brought me back a little bit because wait, I, I mean, they have a lot of other stuff. They have, God bless you, RJ. They have a lot of other stuff on their website, um, but I haven't tried any of that. They have teas and stuff that's supposed to be really good. I haven't tried it. I can't speak on it, but I know this product. I don't like to just blindly buy stuff, especially like, you know, other stuff, but I really like this product. Um, I know they have something else that they wanted to send me. I think it was a cleanser, but I was, like I said, looking for a scrub. So I asked them to send me the scrub instead and they agreed. So that was nice. But I checked to see if I ordered two, if I added two to the cart, it now brought it to $37.49 and the shipping was free. So one would be $24.24, two would be $37.49. So 
Um, let me tell you guys about what I repurchased this. So guys, I definitely plan on repurchasing this. Purchasing this. I have yet to find a scrub that I really liked, that I felt that wasn't abrasive, that didn't leave my skin oily, that didn't make me break out, that didn't irritate my skin. And once I did it, had my skin all red. That was another thing I forgot to say. It didn't have me all red either. Like some of the stuff, are they so abrasive, they have you all red. None of that. Um, however, I think this is gonna last me a really long time. That's why I kind of feel like them four ounces kind of is more because you just take a small little dollop. And like I said, how, how many times have we used this? And I mean, really, really and truly, how many times have we used this? And they say you can use it to remove makeup. I would use a little bit more if I was to do that only as my makeup remover. I use a lot more because I want to make sure I get all my makeup off. But like I said, I don't foresee that. I like to use my products. Like even if I don't use the melter, I have always used kind of like a makeup wipe now that I wear a full face with contour and concealer and foundation. I always use a makeup wipe and then my facial cleanser. So then I would probably use this. So I still wouldn't need that much. So I think it'll last a nice and long time. Um, now, this is the kicker. So today, before I film this video, I asked my husband. I called him and I said, hey, I want you to be 100% honest. You've used it three times now. Would you purchase this product once we're all done? And I must say, I was totally surprised when he said yes. <laughs> I really was. I really, really was shocked. Because he's not picky with his products like I am. He doesn't have sensitive skin. He doesn't really have to worry about certain things or breaking out. And he's a guy, so I don't care about that. So I kind of like, okay, I was shocked. But he was like, no, because it would last a long time. And he said that it was really gentle. And he loved the fact that it was all natural. Because like I said, we are trying to be healthier. So he said that he definitely would purchase it. So that kind of threw me for a loop. I was really shocked. So that was pretty much how I felt about this. I am repurchasing this. If I find something I like better, I mean, would I keep the search going? Sure. Would I like to save a little bit more money? Absolutely. But do I think this is a really good product? I do. I really, really do. And, and I wouldn't just put my stamp of approval on anything. I think this is really, really nice. Um, like I said, you might feel some tightening, moisturize after, but this is a really nice product. I'm, I'm very impressed and all natural cruelty free organic 75% organic yes this is this is nice um, I'm looking forward to the long-term effects they said it's supposed to do anti-aging do I think it's gonna do that <laughs> probably not it might smooth out my skin to maybe look younger but I don't know um, they said it's supposed to remove pores no I don't think it's gonna remove pores is it like cleaning out my pores and not making it so profound and get rid of my blackheads yes they also say, because if you heard when I read it, they say you can use this in your, on your body because it's supposed to eliminate cellulite and stretch marks. Um, I don't know. I didn't try it. I'm not going to speak on that, but I'm just going to say I haven't had very much luck trying out products on my stretch marks. And I do have them. I have a son, you guys know, and I haven't had any luck with my stretch marks. So... I'm just gonna let them naturally go. I'm prone to stretch marks, it runs in my family, and that's just what it is. It tends to lighten up a while, after a while, because I've, I have them here too, because, you know, I have larger, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, so I don't wanna draw this video out any longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my nighttime routine, because I did wanna show you guys that, so I was excited to do this video. But I'm really glad that I found this staple product that I can throw into my now nighttime routine and I have been loving it and I will continue to use it. And I do recommend that you try it. Would I suggest you buy two? No. Everybody's skin is different. You don't know how it's going to work on you, whether you're going to like it or not. So I would suggest buying one. But I will leave the coupon code below. I'll also have had it on the screen. So you guys feel free to go purchase it. If you don't want to use the code, you don't have to. It is an affiliate link just so you guys know. So I do get commission if you buy it. But like I said, I wouldn't stir you guys wrong because I'm putting my stamp of approval on it. And that is way more important to me than a few cents that I'm gonna probably get on these if you guys actually bought them. So I really like this product. I know I'm gonna make money off of me buying it for myself. <laughs> To be honest, I will because I'm going to use my code. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Thumbs it up and press that bell button so you're notified of any future videos, guys. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.